we hear a good deal of conversation about carbohydrates, that they are bad for you, that, you know, all sorts of things. Can you give us an idea of what carbohydrates are, what they do, what you need to do to be aware of that, and what you can do to take advantage of what's available to help manage it? Yeah, I'd be happy to, you know, try and clear up this confusion because I think there is a lot of misinformation with respect to carbohydrates. This is probably one of the most heavily scrutinized uh, food groups that we have. Now, carbohydrates are present in foods such as fruits and vegetables. They're present in our grains and starches and even our beans and legumes. They provide us with a readily available source of energy and they also provide us with vitamins and minerals and dietary fiber. Now we do need to have carbohydrates as part of a healthy diet. The problem is that sometimes we're eating too many of the wrong types of carbohydrates, the bad carbohydrates, and those are foods that are high in sugar. So for example, candy, chocolate bars, sweets, they contain a lot of sugar, which is a form of carbohydrate, but too much sugar has been linked to obesity, it can affect your immune system, uh, it can uh, cause a lot of problems such as tooth decay, and even it's been linked to problems such as diabetes. So I think the problem today is that sometimes we're eating too many of the wrong types of carbohydrates and also the wrong amount. When you look at the portions in restaurants today of french fries, of potato chips, um, bagels and muffins, some of these foods have just you know, really grown in size and portion size over the past few decades. So, so the concern is that we're eating too many of the wrong types of carbs. These are the high sugar, high starch carbohydrates and our portion sizes have gotten a little out of control. Now, I don't think that we should be cutting carbs out of our diet. They are an important part of a healthy diet. In fact, if you don't get enough carbohydrates, that can lead to depression, anxiety, it can cause vitamin and mineral deficiencies, and it can um, really impair your energy levels. So you want to make sure you're eating good quality carbohydrates, fruits, vegetables, whole grains, beans and legumes, these are our good carbohydrates. The ones to minimize are your sugars and your refined starches such as white bread, white rice, white pasta and products that are made with white flour. The reason they're bad is that they get broken down very quickly into sugar, that causes very rapid increases in blood sugar and insulin levels, it can promote fat storage, but also over the long term, eating a lot of these high glycemic or quick release carbs has been associated with an increased risk of diabetes. So with carbohydrates, keep in mind that we do need them as part of a healthy diet. You just want to cut down on some of the bad and harmful carbs. Can you recommend a good source of learning about those carbohydrates and understanding which are which? Yeah, in fact, uh, folks go to my website, which is sherrytorkis.com. I do have a lot of information on healthy eating and the role of carbohydrates in diet. And I also have a number of books that I've written that do address this matter, such as Winning at Weight Loss and The Glycemic Index Made Simple. And also in my books, I talk about strategies for managing your carbohydrate intake, dietary measures, and also supplements. We do know that taking uh, certain supplements, such as phase two, which is a white kidney bean extract, can help to reduce some of the starch, starchy carbohydrate that you would get when you eat foods such as breads, pastas, and potatoes. SherryTorcos.com. We can learn about your books, educate ourselves about carbohydrates. That's right. Great. T-O-R-K-O-S. K-O-S. That's right. Thank you. Thank you.